fellow crafters, I'm going to share with you um, a haul and um, some of my smash book entries I haven't shared in a while. First haul I'd like to show you is Joanne Fabrics. They have these uh, Alpha Punch sets on clearance for $3.97. Excuse my voice and probably some sniffling because I've got bronchitis. So I got that for $3.97. I thought it was a pretty good deal. I like to use this for um, my smash books and um, my art journaling. You know, I could use this for a lot of things. So I got that. And then also on clearance for $0.97, cents, I picked up this Victory Gardens uh, stamp set. I really like that. Sorry for the glare. Let's see if I can show that to you. There's that one. And then they also have this one. This is a summer collage. They have that one for $1.97. It says, Shall I compare thee to Summer Day by Shakespeare and Wish You Were Here? And I really like this uh, scroll and the hibiscus flower because I, I have a lot of Hawaiian pictures that I'd like to scrapbook. I haven't done yet. Also picked up this... Uh, I use my coupon for this garden jarden. It's a over set of three, and they're three ninety nine normally. So I got this with the alphabet, the butterflies, and then the ivies. I'm gonna use that in my art journaling. And then I've been um, wanting to make a um, book with um, <coughs> stitchery. And I figured the Tim Holtz ruler would be the best thing for me to mark my holes because it has the little holes in it. So I got that. And, it, and they were 40% off. So that's my Joanne Fabrics haul. Let's set this to the side. Then I went to, over the weekend, I stopped at a um, auction, um, house auction. And I didn't find anything, and I went back. There was an old sewing machine. I think that they had everything priced way too high. But I did find this cute little shopping cart. I don't know what. I'm going to probably put, like, my flowers or something in it. I just thought it was adorable. It's got the little wheels and a little seat. You could probably put a little doll in there. Isn't this adorable? <laughs> It's so cute. It was only five bucks, and it was full of wash rags, which I put in the wash and washed them. I'll probably use them for when I'm art journaling. And it even has the little bottom um, place for you to put. It, you know, it's just so cute. I just had to share. So I got that, and then also I did um, Michaels stuff there. When I go to the doctors, there's a Michaels there that I don't get to go to very often, and I stop in there occasionally and see. I, I mean, I stop in there when I go to the doctor's office to see what they got. Sorry about my voice. I'm telling you, this uh, sickness is killing me. So I picked up this uh, elephant flowers. It was on clearance for $2.99. I don't know what it is about it, but I really love that elephant. So I'm going to have to do something with that. Um, these were $0.79. Cents. This is that plastic um, canvas stuff that you use for... Um, some stitchery on it. I forget what they call it. Anyways, I'm going to use that in my art journal for a stencil. And then they have these 40% off, so I thought the flowers were just adorable. Aren't they pretty? And they were only $2. And then I picked up these chipboard pieces. Aren't they cute? They're very Victorian. Kind of goes with that romance paper. And then these metal pieces got a couple swaps that I'm in. I wanted to get a few more things. And then these. I love these Polaroid photo frames by Recollections. These are $1.99 normal. And I didn't get these on sale. So I got those. Then, here I'll use my little shopping cart. <laughs> then I online um, Blick.com Let's see. Yeah, it's DickBlick.com See if I can show you that. Dickblick.com. I picked up a jelly mat. I'm so excited. <laughs> I can't 
can't wait to play with this. Um, this here was $26.99, and I paid $8.95 for shipping, so it was $35.94, and I just got it. It was in, um, ordered it online. And if you don't know what this is, just go on YouTube and put in um, a gel printing plate or gel art, and you'll see a bunch of ladies showing you how to use this. So I can't wait to show that off. I do know um, Lee Moore, she um, shows how to use it in her videos. Okay, and Saw Crafters, I ordered some stuff from her store. She's got these adorable little typewriters. And it, this one says, I miss you every day of my life. I love you so much. Treasure this memory forever. The beauty of every day. So delightful of this moment. And capture life by photos. I just love these. These are so freaking cute. Love them. I can't wait to use them in some of my projects. And then she had these cute little bicycles. They're cut out of um, wood. It's so cute. And I lo it's still, it smells like burnt wood. I love the smell of that. So there's that. And then she had this honeycomb piece. And this piece here I thought was uh, smaller, actually. It was bigger than I thought. It's 7 by 3. And I'll probably use this on a layout or something. I haven't decided yet. And then now she's got these stencils, and you could tell she uh, laser cut it, got a little burn on there, but what it is, it's got paper, shows you the paper. So I'm going to show you this side, isn't that pretty? And these are small, these are the 4x4, four four, but they were cheap, so I thought I'd try them out, and they'd be cute on cards. So, and then I picked up the flower other flower one isn't that cute love it and then this one there's a little piece there still stuck it's like a, a brick different brick layer and then this one's called best friends it says best friends mean different things to different people some insist that you can have only one best friend others assent assert that they are best friends for different aspects of their personalities personalities whatever the precise definition your best friend is the person who gets you they understand who you are and what you are saying the greatest distance cannot separate best friends you will always feel a kinship with them and be able to instantly continue the friendship even after not talking for many years <laughs> I mean it's really like a story but I figured it'd be cute for um, Mod Podge and sprays, you know, giving a nice texture to my journaling. And then this awesome butterfly one. Isn't that cool? And then that one is bigger. This one is, looks like 12, 12 by 5. And that's a nice big one there. And like I said, that's the paper on the back. It just peels right up for you to use. So you didn't have a glare. I wanted to show you that. So there's that. And then she's got these really cool flowers that I wasn't sure how what how big they were. And I wanted to see. So I just ordered one of each. And it looks like she, I don't know if that's an item number 527 that sticker on there. But look at these little rose buds. Aren't they beautiful? They're like a peachy pink. I love that. So I got those, a little bunch. And then this, these are, I think, cattle lilies. I haven't gardened in so long, I forgot what certain flowers are called. <laughs> so there's those, and they're pink. Love those. So there's my haul from Saw Crafter. Thank you, Saw. Love all my goodies. I will be shopping again for sure. Sorry about that. Okay. <laughs> Somebody made fun of me for doing that. Yeah, uh -huh, you know who you are. <laughs> okay, some of these pages you've already seen. Um, let me flip through them and see if I can find any that you haven't. 
This is my brother and his children when they were younger. This is my son when he came to visit. I do... <coughs> Excuse me. This is when I went to Chicago in January of this year. And I haven't done any journaling on that one yet. So I do have a page that I did. Let's see. That's when my daughter was younger. With my son when he came to visit for Mother's Day. And this is a page I haven't finished yet. This is uh, when I went to Marion Smith's um, Valentine crop. So that one's in the process. This one's in the process. This is a um, funny picture that my daughter did with her friend, Mustache. And then that's my dad and my mom. What I'm doing is these pictures are not current. I'm not going with this is my daughter when she got my, my my mother was doing her nails. My dad and my mother in law. What I'm doing is just picking out some of my favorite pictures that I put put to the side for scrapbooking and um, decided to start smashing them in the book. And I love this idea because I'm not pressured to have to do a whole twelve by twelve layout, which I do like still like to do. This is my daughter. It says, first day of school, 2005. And remember this. Um, my daughter was so excited for the first day of school. And this was her first day of school of last year, in her last year of college. She actually took the picture and sent it to me on my phone. And I just thought it was so cute. So I put, oh, snap, and then September 2012. And let's see. Here's when I went to Chicago. This is uh, um, Andy's um, Jazz Bar. And then this is where I met my daughter and we we went out to eat. We had sushi. We love sushi. I think you've seen that one. This one you may not have seen. This is my daughter um, at the Water Gardens here in Fort Worth. That was several years ago. And this is my girlfriend when I went to visit her. I don't get to see her much. Some of, some of these are in process, but I tell you what, this book is getting bigger and bigger and bigger. This is when we went to New York, and I love the little um, pieces that come with sayings on it, like life is made of moments like this, and this is some paper, it says listen to your heart above all others, and it had a piano on it, so I thought that was perfect because she had a piano scarf on, and this was November uh, I think 2006. I didn't finish it because I couldn't remember. I have to go look it up somewhere. And then this is when I went to Chicago and visit my kids after I moved here. And I think that's it. I just wanted to do a um, share with you and let you know how it's going in my smash book. Look how thick that thing's getting. <laughs> I think I might have to redo these um, redo this and add a bigger piece to it so and my friend Kathy made this I think yeah Kathy okay yeah alright that's it hope you're having a great week and uh, talk to you later bye now